Hi everybody and welcome back. So yesterday I did a tutorial that you can see here, I think here, maybe here, I think here, yeah, about sky replacement in the new DaVinci Resolve version 18.1, where you could use the OFX to create an artificial sky and clouds even and everything and replace the sky in your video. But what if you have your own photos or maybe even videos that you want to use as a sky replacement instead? Well, today I'll show you how to do that. So let's jump on over here. I have a clip, the same clip actually we used yesterday and um, just me flying around this guy and the issue is obviously the airliner in here. So that's not very fitting for this video. So you might have a video clip of the sky or you might have some photos. So I have a range of photos here and let's say I want to use this one. So what you do is click on your photo and you select add to media pool as a mat and now you'll see down here and you'll see it has this icon down here that tells you this is this has been added as a mat then you go to your color tab and here in your color tab let me just close this one down so we have a little more space and even the clips we can turn down here so don't just drag your sky replacement tool onto your node because that will only gener generate uh, one um, input for you. So instead, let me undo that command C. You can drag it onto the gray area, but then you will need to manually connect the connectors again. So instead, just drag it to the connector. When you see the green plus sign, just let go. And now you have the tool with the extra alpha inputs and outputs that we're going to need. And again, like in the previous video, first we'll have to tell the plugin what the sky is. So you go to your qualification tab down here, you make sure you're on the qualifier. And I have tested, you can use the various qualification tools, but for this one, I'm going to go with the 3D gear here. I'm going to switch to highlight mode and just draw a stroke around the sky and then I'm going to add some more sky by clicking the add to selection tool down here and add some more sky. Here's a bit and that looks, yeah, that's pretty good and easy. So we have a little issue with the, I think it's the drain pipe here. There's a reflection. So again, we can try to clean the blacks and get rid of that helps a bit we can blur out the edges and we can denoise our selection a little bit so it's not a perfect clean qualification or selection but let's focus on the sky replacement and then we'll do another video about qualifications and qualifiers another day all right so let's go out of the highlight mode and now it's time to bring in our sky so if we go to our media tab we have our sky that we added here so what you do is in your media pool you just take your sky and you just drag it onto your node area over here let me close the media pool down again and now what you do is the selection up here we need to bring the the uh, alpha selection we did into the sky replacement or effects so we're going to drag that onto the topmost input and then the mat we're going to take the alpha output and connect it to the alpha input of the sky replacement tool and there's our sky now if you're not seeing your sky or if you're seeing something weird you might have your artificial sky open here and you might have the sky opacity set to one so that's kind of overruling your own mat so make sure this is all the way down to zero the same with cloud opacity that will also shine through if it's more than one and the same with hotspot brightness or the artificial sun you can add so make sure these three are set to zero and then you can collapse this tab and then you can go back to your source sky appearance and if you wanted to you could tweak the uh, the temperature and tint and uh, saturation of your sky up here. So if you want it 
to tweak that a little bit. This is a place you could do it, or you could do it before you brought it in as a mat. You can also go one step further up and refine your mask. Maybe you need to shift your edges and tweak the black and white level. So we can see we have a, an issue with his face here is disappearing. So we don't want to shift it too much. So let's not go crazy on that. Let's bring it out a little bit like so. And you can refine that just a little bit. Again, if you go down to your sky position, you have the option to track the foreground, the original sky, or the you can use an FX tracker, or you can do your own keyframes. But quick and easy fix: use the track foreground, let Da Vinci track everything, go through it. Okay, and we're done. And now you can see we have the obvious issue here that because it's, it's tracking around the, the pan axis, it kind of lost the, uh, the size here. So you have the option to auto size for motion up here and that Da Vinci will bring it right back. And now you have your sky tracked with your foreground so it looks a lot more natural. And it's pretty easily done. So the biggest hurdle here, the biggest Thing you have to focus on is getting a really good qualification and make sure your edges looks look natural. You can go down and tweak your exposure down here and you can even go down and check the foreground appearance and do some basic um, just foreground. You can add that, select that and do some basic uh, color tweaks to your image down here like so. And again, global blend is just the overall opacity, but obviously if we bring that down, we're gonna reintroduce the, the plane up here. So we're going to leave that all the way up. So there you have it. Sky replacement in DaVinci Resolve 18.1 using your own photo, or you could use the video instead. Pretty easy stuff, looks pretty cool. And it's very useful, especially if you're doing a lot of like drone shots like I am. It's 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 pretty powerful and useful tool. I'm going to use it a lot. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Maybe show us some love. Hit that like button and let us know in the comments if you have anything else you would like us to do. And we'll be happy to do it in the next video. Take care and have a great day.